You're about to see another 15 games that I think should be on the rumoured SNES Classic Mini. Last week I listed 15 games that I believe will be part of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Minis collection of games. Now I'm expecting 30 games to be included, just like the NES Classic Mini, so where are the remaining 15 games on the list? Well, they're right here of course. And of course I would love to hear your own SNES Classic Mini choices, so please let me know yours in the comments. Mario Kart has never been more popular, and the game that started it all has held up incredibly well over the last two and a half decades. Another essential SNES game that really should be included, and a welcome multiplayer game as well. The original Gradius ended up on the NES Classic, so Gradius 3 would be another great choice for the SNES Mini. Konami Shooter was an early game for the system, as well as a fantastic port of a fine arcade machine. Nintendo might have forgotten about F-Zero, but fans certainly haven't. Another early SNES release, this racing game features very speedy Mode 7 visuals and it's a fast and demanding racer that will please the hardcore fans. ActRaiser combines decent platform action with a basic but intriguing god sim. The result is a game that plays like no other release on the system, and its addition would certainly add a little more diversity to this mini SNES. You can't go wrong with a little more Super Mario, so why shouldn't Super Mario All-Stars be here as well? A 16-bit rendition of all of Mario's NES adventures, including the previously Japanese-only version of Super Mario Bros. 2, there is a lot of game here to enjoy. Capcom's Final Fight is another arcade port, but it's a damn great one, even if it's not entirely faithful thanks to censorship and the removal of an entire playable character. In any case, it's still a game that's a lot of fun and needs to be here. We might as well have another JRPG on this mini system, so here is another one of the greats, Final Fantasy VI, or III as it was originally called for its North American release. It's such a massive improvement on Final Fantasy II slash 4, and it's another great adventure to really sink your teeth into. The SNES port of SimCity is arguably my favourite version of the city building sim, thanks to its simplicity and its Nintendo-fied presentation. It's another title to break up the action games and JRPGs, but it's also quite a calming game to play, at least before things inevitably go wrong anyway. For years, there has been one word that Nintendo are probably sick of hearing, and that's Mother, a series that has probably one of the most dedicated cult fan bases in the West, the only instalment that officially received a Western release, Earthbound, finally ended up on the Virtual Console on Wii U and 3DS, and it should most definitely be a part of this lineup. Mixing Eastern role playing with Western culture makes for a truly unique JRPG, and could even earn some new fans on the SNES Classic Mini. Last episode, I said you might as well have all of the Donkey Kong Country games here, so the trilogy would not be complete without Dixie's Double Trouble. It isn't terribly different from the other two games, but it's more Kong platforming from Rare, complete with secrets galore. The Super Nintendo was home to some wonderful multiplayer games, so why can't we have a bit of Super Bomberman in there as well? In fact, let's go the whole hog, add two extra controller ports to the Super Nintendo Classic Mini, or even a tiny multi-tap, so we can have four player battling as well. For many people, that would be worth the cost of the console alone. Oh yeah, and there's a single player mode as well, if that's your bag. The very first Super Mario RPG is a very experimental attempt to add JRPG mechanics and storytelling to the Mushroom Kingdom, and Square Enix did a fine job of it as well. It's just a shame that much like Earthbound, it was never officially released in Europe until the Wii Virtual Console. Time to remedy that with an appearance here. I'm going to add another weird game to the pile. 
Kirby's Dream Course. Honestly, it's a mini golf game with the Kirby branding, but it's surprisingly fun and it's almost like a puzzle game in terms of how it plays. It's one of those games that deserves another chance. So let's put a sports game on the SNES Classic Mini, with a game that doesn't have any licenses to worry about. Tennis is a relatively easy sport to understand, and Super Tennis is a fun take on the sport that is also a pretty fun two-player game as well. A real classic to finish off my list of 30 games. Super Metroid is the pinnacle of Samus Aran's series, an atmospheric action adventure with some of the best exploration based gameplay around, and it's never been better to be honest. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this and want more, you can click this icon to subscribe, this icon to support me financially via Patreon, or these icons to watch more videos from my channel. Why not take a few seconds to answer the question of the week in the comments or just let me know what you thought of this video. See you next week.